Right, so now um, I'm going to take you to show you the first basement project we ever did in Fulham. And uh, it was in Cheselton Road, which is off of Fulham Road in Fulham. So this was a big jump up for us because before we did this, uh, our first basement we used to do loft conversions, side returns, refurbishments. So when we got the call to do a basement, we've never done the basement before. So we said, well, we can't turn this one down. We've got to learn how to do a basement. So um, we spoke to a number of contractors and you know, teamed up in the end with this really reliable, trusted contractor who's done lots of basements in, in, his, in his career. And uh, we, we actually brought him on board, Team New, to do our first basement. Uh, so um, when we were introduced to this client, it never had this property never had any planning approvals uh, so we had to liaise with a local architect in Fulham and we went in for a full basement kitchen side return loft conversion and it was a full refurb now to get this through planning we did uh, just one application luckily it went through straight away and um, um, I think it, it took sort of a month to do drawings, two months to get through planning, and then we're, uh, we're up and running. Uh, but before we could start, we had to get uh, party wall agreements in place. So we're just turning into Cheserton Road with the horrible orange door. So when we did it, that door was black. As soon as we sold it, the uh, client painted the front door. We got the planning approval. Uh, got the party walls signed off and then the build started so what you do first obviously you get you do um, you put the hoardings up site set up and then you um, the groundwork team um, go in there to start the underpinning uh, of the basement the actual shell and core stage for the basement takes on average four months so on that particular job, the basement was a thousand square feet. So just on that job there, I think the client brought it for two million quid uh, and the footprint was 2000 square feet. So once we got a planning for the basement, side return and loft conversion, that created 1,500 square feet extra. So she bought it at 2,000 square feet. We got planning and we created three and a half thousand square feet by adding the three different aspects. Um, so that in turn made the resale value 3.5 mil at a time because it was a thousand pound a square foot. So three and a half thousand square feet of uh, livable uh, area times that by a thousand square pound a square foot is 3.5 mil. And that's in fact, that's what we sold it for. Uh, she bought it for two mil. Bill cost was 650,000 quid at a time. And um, which was very good value. We did that because it was our first basement. We learned by our mistakes. It took a little bit longer than we thought. We spent a little bit more money doing it. Um, but that was our first ever basement, uh, 35 Cheserton Road. Um, let's get out and have a look. So this is one of the nicest streets in Fulham. Uh, as you see, it's in the summer, you've got all the tree-lined uh, uh, properties. Most of these houses now have all had basements done because everyone sees the value in creating the extra square footage. This was our first one here, number 35. Basement, kitchen side return, mansard full refurb off of the back of that one once we finish that one what usually happens neighbors say oh can you do my basement or can you do my refurb so off the back of 35 we did number 12 oh sorry number it was number 13 so this one Man's side was already up there on this one, and um, we did the basement 
before we landed our first basement, as I said, we just used to do kitchen side returns, loft conversions, mansards, bath and refurbs, um, until we did our first basement at 35 Chesterton Road. And then that changed everything. That put us on the map in Fulham because once you start doing the bigger projects, everyone notices. And off the back of that, we did uh, David Gandhi's house, which is just over there. Um, and off the back of that, we did Kylie Minogue's house. So it was just, you know, it was just a chain of events which took us from doing small jobs to big jobs. So this is a lovely street. This is this is prime Fulham Parsons Green. You've got the beautiful townhouses here, and you've also got the green here. Uh, lovely area, lovely place to live. And the pound per square foot here is sort of higher than most areas of Fulham. Number six, Crondas Road. That was completed by new projects after uh, number 13 Chesterton Road so again we got planning for a basement uh, kitchen side return and we did a full refurb so that was done in that's 2014 as well that one that was a busy one this is our journey for our first basement projects um, and uh, Let's do it again another day and we'll, I'll show you where we went to our first new build property in Fulham next time. Thank you.